Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, in JP, they have a live stream uh, earlier today and they revealed some very interesting students. Alright, so I thought I wasn't going to cover this, but because these students are limited, so we need to talk about them a little bit because I think that's going to put peer pressure, especially on free-to-play players. There's a lot of limited students in Blue Archive and we got to pay attention to them, especially for, you know, all of these limited students because like... Let's be real, you can't really pull for everyone. So you gotta pick and choose. So let's first show you guys the trailer. What are the new characters in Blue Archive? <coughs> so these are characters that we already know and have seen in the game. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. Different art version, all right? So there's four characters shown there, but Natsu is not going to be included in for now, all right? We got three characters for now. So first up is this version of Yoshimi. Very cool. All right. Okay, so I do think that she is going to be one of the better ones. And then we have the new version, the old version of Kazusa. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to have the new welfare version of Irie. Okay, so Sugar Rush. Alright, so alongside with that, there's also plenty of other things. So let's talk about everything that's happening in this live stream. I'm going to condense it for you guys. I'm going to talk about the skills, the kits, everything uh, in particular. So yeah, let's jump into it. Alright, so let's follow the order. First up, we have Trinity. I believe all three of them are from Trinity, right? So we're going to have the Kazusa. This is going to be the new particular uh, version right here. I think she looks pretty cool, but uh, there were some comments, there were some remarks by some players saying that her chest was nerfed. And I was like, hmm, I can see some truth to that actually, yeah? I mean, to be fair, this is going to be the, the version that we always uh, are able to see. Uh, it's going to be quite hard to really observe that, right? But definitely, she looks a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit different, right? So, what is Kazusa all about? As you can see right there, she is going to be a limited character, alright? So, being a limited character, that means we got to pay very close attention. If they go away, it will take a while for them to come back. So for this particular Kasusa version, what is she capable of? Let me jump into the... Alright, I'm going to try to Google Translate it, so uh, there could be some errors here and there, but hopefully give you guys an idea. So her EX skill, alright, what she can do is she increase the attack speed of allies within a circular area, alright? Additionally, she also gives a certain number of sugar rush to yourself, uh, to herself basically, for a certain period of time, up to two sugar rush. So that's like a, a counter thing. So the passive skill is going to uh, increase attack speed, right? The noble skill, this one, is going to increase own attack power for a certain period of time. Now the sub skill is where it ties to that sugar rush thing that we just talked about in the EX skill. For each sugar rush you own, when attacking, receive additional damage equal to the attack power, up to 2. So that's how the translation, uh, I, I'm using machine translation, right? It might not be 100% accurate. But let's have a look at Kazusa in action. So she's still going to be the striker class, but she stays at the back as you can see. Okay. So she's just going to strum the, the electric guitar right there. Okay, that's pretty cool. So as you can see, she has this circular buff that she applies to herself, it seems like. Which is, I believe, pretty cool. Alright. I think that's very good, right? So it seems like she's able to... She's a buffer that increases her own attack, it seems like. And maybe allies surrounding her as well. So that's obviously something that we'll have to look more in details once, we once her skill comes out or once she's released. But the circular area that she has is not that big so you need like students to be like near her to receive the buff as well so i do think that this is going to either come down to what kind of content she can tackle and where she's going to be beneficial to be fair she is going to be an explosion uh attack type so there's that as well so let's talk about the next character the welfare character and this is going to be an out version of ivy so i'm sure you guys are familiar with her Alright, pretty cool. So as you can see, she is... Man, Irie looks way different. Alright. Like compared to the regular version, she looks way more mature now. 
I like it. But she's going to be a welfare character, as you can see. Free one star. So yeah, this is a regular Irie, as you can see. Uh, I almost never built her, but if you look at this particular Irie, I think she's changed a lot. Like a lot, right? So definitely a different outlook. Now she's going to be a free character, fortunately, but welfare. Alright, that means if you miss out on the event, you're not going to be able to get her again. So make sure you guys, you know, pay attention to that. So again, uh, I'm going to look at the translated skills. She is an attacker. Alright, her EX skill adds explosion special effect for a certain period of time. And also grants Sugar Rush. Very interesting. That means she has very special synergy with Kazusa. Her passive skill, alright, which is uh, this particular one, uh, increase range and attack speed of normal attacks. Alright. And then the other normal skill deals damage equal to attack power to one enemy every certain number of normal attacks. And the last one, the sub skill. When attacking while possessing Sugar Rush, there's a certain chance that the critical damage resistance rate will be reduced for a certain period of time. That means she has the ability to decrease critical resistance. Um, I find that very fascinating. Not many characters can do that. Considering if the translation is uh, as accurate as it gets, uh, the one character that I can think of out of my head right now is Swimsuit Azus Izuna. Swimsuit Izuna can also decrease crit damage resistance. Alright. Okay, so she's going to be a striker as you can see. Wow. So she's a keyboard player. Okay, so she buffs and... <laughs> very interesting, she just shoves the keyboard and then reloads the gun. Okay, very cool animation. Very cool animation, nothing spectacular right there, but uh, I think it's pretty cool as well. And the final character, the last character, one more limited. Everyone's favorite. This is going to be the alt version of... Guess who? Yoshimi. Wow. Everybody seems to love Yoshimi. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that she has a regular limited out version. Uh, you know? Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys built Yoshimi. Now, if you did build her, maybe you consider getting this particular variant as well. So let's have a look at what Yoshimi can do. Okay, she's going to be an explosion character, again, attacker, right? So her EX skill, increase attack power and attack speed for a certain period of time. Also grants a certain number of sugar rush, up to 5 sugar rush. One sugar rush will be released every time over a certain period of time. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So she also increased attack damage and uh, each time you use a regular attack, you will deal damage equal to your attack power to one enemy. In addition, the damage will increase for each sugar rush of all allies, up to 8. So it's all about this sugar rush mechanic. All three of them seems to have this very unique mechanic. Sub skill. Each time a normal skill is activated, when you attack with a normal skill, you will receive additional damage equal to the attack power. Very interesting. So the concept of characters or the students right now seems to be in a synergy with each other. All right, if you have Yoshimi, you have Airi, you have Kazusa, they all have this sugar rush concept and they are able to perhaps buff each other. And that seems to be the sentiment moving into this. So let's have a look at Yoshimi's skill. All right. Wow. So that's the guitar pick right there. So that's the, the sugar rush uh, activation uh, thing. Okay. So as you can see, none of their EX skill actually do like AOE or basically like... It seems to be attack speed focused. Which I think is going to be very very interesting. It does depend on the boss that you fight against, right? So let's have a look at some of the gameplay. As you can see, we have the, you know, the band in action. The Airi, Yoshimi, Kazusa. And then this time, this is going to be the new content, right? With six striker units and four special students. So again, this is the new content exclusive to JP for now. Uh, hopefully Global gets it, right? Uh, we're gonna get it eventually. But definitely, it does seem pretty fun. Okay, so you can see there's like extra students that you can configure around. Now look at the cost for Yoshimi. Airi is 2 cost, right? Kazusa is 3 cost. But Yoshimi, if you notice, is going to be 10 cost. Insane, alright? 10 cost is really, really expensive. 
I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to use it consistently. This is why you need some you need certain characters that can half the cost. In this case, uh, I think you're gonna be able to do that, right? So 10 cost is really really high. Alright, for what she is providing, uh if you can half that with Ui, 5 costs, it's gonna make your life a lot more easier. I think it's overall going to be worth it as well. But uh for this particular mode, maybe 10 cost is like acceptable because it's like there's a uh, cost regen and you can use, use more students all together but 10 cost though for what she does seems a little bit on the expensive side for sure so basically you use all of the, all three of them in conjunction with each other and yeah those are the new students for jp server specifically coming in the latest jp update so there's also a special animation let me see if i can show you guys if you put all three of them there's like a special winning animation. Look at that. Wow. Everyone seems to love it. All three of them standing side by side. As though they're in a band. Very cool, right? Very, very cool. So let's look at a few other things alongside with that in the JP server exclusively. We also have uh, the number of reports and enhancement gems you obtain from each content will increase in the future update. Apparently, they are increasing the number of uh, the reports that thing that you need to level up your students and then of course these particular uh, stones as well that you need to power up your equipments your gears right so that's pretty cool uh, apparently they are going to improve that i do think that's going to be a good thing moving forward alongside with that apparently we're going to have this special login bonus as well so this particular one i thought you're going to get increased gems but apparently not it seems like you are going to increase in the other rewards you can see the credits from ten thousand is going to become twenty thousand all right, 20,000 become 40,000. And the three blue is going to become one orange. The five gray is going to become three blue. But apparently, you still get 150 for the pyroxenes. So you're not going to get an increase there, uh, sadly. But still, an overall improvement if you look at the rest of the things. And of course, we also have new unique equipment for some of the characters. Kaede, Kaho, Miyu, and Yoshimi is going to get a unique equipment as well for all four of them. And last but not least, of course, the exclusive uh, furniture for all of them that you can basically put in your dormitory and you get this Trinity exclusive classroom, which I think looks pretty cool. All right. So with that being said, that is going to be pretty much it for the JP update. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention they are also having a blue archive animation collab with Pizza Hut, okay, very very interesting. So this collaboration is going to be exclusively, I believe, in certain selected regions, most likely in JP for the time being. So yeah, overall, big blue archive W. Let me know what you guys think of the overall this particular patch that's happening in the JP server, right? So this is not coming in global yet, but hopefully, you know, just inform you guys. So make sure you guys are prepared in advance. So with that being said, for now, you know, if you are in global, you gotta be worried about the collab coming soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that that's gonna be it for this video subscribe give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye